Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. Alright, today's patch includes a bunch of things. So if you guys are not aware, we have the new raid boss. We also have Lara Jaeger, right? So if you guys, I'm not sure how many of you guys pulled for her. But I do suggest if you guys do not have enough tickets, maybe just skip her for the time being. Maybe get her in the future because no idea who's going to come next week. But I don't think she's that needed right now. So in terms of the uh, new raid boss, alright, let's talk about, let's go to the world map. Some of you guys might have uh, encountered this, right? So basically, a lot of the branches, what happened is they reset one of the feature, which is this thing right here. You gotta go back and add it. So this thing, the face coordinates amplifier. So a lot of people were telling me, okay, they remove this. So make sure you guys add it back, build facility, and go ahead and level it up all the way. So you might be experiencing this if your inhibitor rate aren't getting the level 71. Because I noticed uh, a lot of people have been sending the rates, but some of them get 150, some of them get level 70. But should you actually upgrade it, it's going to be a different story, right? Because if you upgrade it, you're going to get the inhibitor rate level 150. And if you can't kill it, or nobody in your friends list could kill it, is there a point to upgrade it, right? So you got to think carefully. Uh, I'm not sure what would be the best strategy moving forward. Because right now, level 70 is doable for me. But 150 is way far off, like it's just too difficult, like I don't know why, but everyone just get destroyed in that raid. So I'm going to show you guys a strat shortly after. So make sure you guys do all of this, or, or maybe just think carefully first if you actually want to upgrade it. Because if you upgrade it, you're going to get a harder inhibitor rate. So I'm not sure if that's going to be beneficial for you. You do have 6 branches, uh, 5 or 6 branches depending on you guys. So maybe you can upgrade 3 of it and the other 3 just remain at low level. That could be a strategy as well moving forward. Now, alongside with the inhibitor rate, we also get new gears. So in case you guys are wondering, okay, why should I try to fight this boss? Why do I care about this boss? The reason is simple, this boss gives a different reward. As you can see, it's a whole new gear. So let me see if I can show this. Let's go into the support. And as you can see, we're going to get this thing called the Polymer Gears. Alright, Polymer Gears are different from the SC Gears that we usually have. Fighting the raid, you can see you either get the Polymer Gears or you get the Polymer Token. So obviously, getting the token is going to be much more beneficial because you can actually craft these new gears, the Polymer Token. So let's go to the workshop right here. Uh, let me show you guys. You can see the raid gear. Come to the raid gear section. You can see uh, the Polymer Mole. Very cool, I actually like it a lot more. It's actually better. Why is it better? Because if you look at the SC gear, right? The mole, there's only T5 to T6 SC mole. But for the polymer, all of them are T5 to T7. Which is, if you think about it, it's actually quite good because you have a chance to get T7. Yes, there's also a chance to get T5, there's also a chance to get T6, but it's T5 to T7. Maybe the chance to get T7 is really low, but still, there's a chance. So I do think that this raid boss is worth uh, trying to beat because you do get if, you're get, if you get lucky, you get T7 gears. You guys know how hard it is to upgrade from T6 to T7, you need a lot of materials, right? So just straight up to be able to have a chance to obtain T7 gears, I strongly believe this is worth farming for. So do take that into consideration. Now, in terms of the polymer, uh, weapon, armor, accessory, what do they actually give, right? If you look carefully, right, of course it's still divided into the uh, counter, the soldier, and the uh, mag gears. But if you guys are curious, the polymer is much more of a defensive gear. So let's go to the upgrade here and you can have a look here. They basically added a bunch of things. Even some of these uh, exclusive gear that I haven't seen yet. For example, the Perfect Crime Jane Doe's gear, uh, John Mason's gear right here, and Tommy the Die Hard's mask? Insane! Alright, we haven't got this yet. Maybe those will be given to us or they will appear in the uh, what is counter case in the future. But as you can see, Polymer, Dante Hands, Polymer, Dante uh, Crown, all of these, their option 1 will be between these 3. It's anti-counter damage rest, anti-soldier damage rest, or anti-mech damage rest. So it's much more of a tank gear. Alright, it's for you to basically give it to like Awaken Heal Day, Awaken Iobin, for them to be able to be more tanky. But I do like the, the modifiers. It's actually comparable to the maze gears. I don't think it's actually better though. But it's actually pretty good if you are looking for a tanky gear. So all of them will have the anti-ground as well as you can see, right? So obviously uh, the T7, 
doesn't have the skill haste, which is quite weird, right, for the weapon. It's much more of a defensive gear rather than offensive compared to the regular SC gear. So let's talk about the inhibitor rate, give you guys my thoughts on it. So inhibitor rate, if you guys want to try to beat it, this is a strategy that I used earlier today. And so far, this is what works for the level 70 boss. So I use this strat right here. All right, so uh, a lot of people have been saying you can use Chloe Operator to try to basically distract the the tanky guy in front. There's actually two units, the main boss himself and also the, the shield guy in front that's protecting the boss. So you want to be able to, apparently you can pull the main guy, I mean the, the defender guy to walk towards to your ship. You can do that with the Chloe Operator. Unfortunately, I do not have the Operator, but I might consider getting it if it works for level 150. But as you can see, the strat I'm using is Blue Bridge Mark II and also I'm using, uh, what is this, Lina McKenzie, right? And you can see I go with five different tower units first. So tower units are good because what happens is the boss activates a, a big blast and explosive damage and destroys and kills everyone on the entire battlefield except for the one that's uh, near the ship. In this case, these tower units right here. And also, if your character have a way of escaping, for example, ASY, Awaken Seo Yun and Ministra right here, they have a chance or they, they have a way of jumping back and avoiding the damage as well. So let me show you guys the strat first and then we're gonna jump into the gears afterwards. Yeah, let me try the same strat for level 70. So I'm just curious if this strat that uh, I just tried just now, like, is it good enough, right? What operator am I even using? I don't have Chloe, so I'm just using this. So for level 70, it works. They can't hit me. But I don't know what are the soldiers dying to. Is there a DOT going on something along those lines? Because they are gradually losing HP. Right? They are gradually losing HP. Alright. Crazy stuff going on. So if my admin swordsman administrator swordsman survive. Two minutes, right? Around here the boss will launch the first attack. Boom! So let's see who survived. So ASY, Ministra and the tower units. So how come just no 150 boss they can't survive, you know? But regardless, let's let's see if this strat works this time. I'm just curious, right? If it works against a full boss, I did 70%. So I'm just curious if you I think we can. I think we can actually do this. I just need the heals to come out soon. Maybe my Evelyn need to push front a little bit. Okay, Lin Sen is out now. I save Lin Sen and Yang Harim to help heal a little bit. Yang Harim and Evelyn, very important for the heal. I think I just saw Sigma die right there, which is unfortunate. Evelyn, hopefully heal everyone. Uh, maybe we can't do this, I'm not sure. 50 seconds, can we do this? Obviously, the strat can still be improved, but... Yo, Lucas, Valenzuela. Oh my god, I'm lacking, lagging like crazy. Lolly throwing the sofa. 30 seconds. ALSY is out. Everybody has shield, so they should survive. 30 seconds. Can I do it? If I do it, this is the best free to play strat. Although you need a bunch of lollies. So I'm not sure if it's a free to play strat. It is cutting it close. Though. It's like 10 seconds remaining. Okay. GG I guess. Alright, so as you can see, pretty straightforward. So let me show you guys the gear that I use for each of these characters. So, Mario Antonov, I went with Skill Haze. So I'm just gonna breeze through this because there's a lot to there's a lot to show. Choi Ina, I went with Attack Speed. Alright, so Sigma with uh, Skill Haze again. So this guy tactical, I don't know what I go with. HP. Alright, uh, Adif Twins with um should I don't have gears for her, okay. Fair enough. So Skill Haze. So this is uh, Admin Swordsman, ASY, Chifuyu, Dash, Ifrit, Admin Rifleman, Kim Sobin, apparently she does decent damage. Alright, so Lin Sien, Yang Harim, uh, Evelyn, again, if this is too fast, feel free to pause the video. Alright, so we have Machine Collector, Hilde, uh, Shin Jiao, of course, for the buff, uh, ALSY, so I went with Tarask right there, Rosaria, Rita, and 
yeah, that's about it. So I was thinking of bringing Seoyun, but I don't know, Shinja or Seoyun, whichever that's better. But yeah, there's quite a lot of characters. So again, level 70 is definitely doable. I'm going to try to work on a level 150 and see if there's a strat that I can, I can craft out from it. But yeah, for now, this is what I have. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys think this gear is worth farming, or do you guys not care that much? As always, leave it in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, give this video a like. Have a nice day. Goodbye.